to Commons has had its opportunity and has failed to come up with a workable plan. So anything else now, just playing for time, running down the clock, with every day that passes, no deal becomes a risk and that's not acceptable. Well, I'm going to first and foremost meet with uh, my own uh, group to look at the options, to talk to them about how we can best use our position in the House of Commons to move things in the right direction. While I'm there, I'm happy to speak to anybody in the opposition to try to bring together a consensus about the way forward. Now, we have, of course, the vote of no confidence, the debate on that tomorrow. Uh, I hope, I, I really do hope that the House of Commons decides to kick this government out and the SNP will be part of that. But if it doesn't, I think the pressure then is on Jeremy Corbyn and Labour to make its position on a second referendum clear. Well, it's in Scotland's interest, whatever the constitutional status of Scotland uh, might be in the future, and obviously I hope that is as an independent country, will always be in our interest for the rest of the UK to be you know, stable and in the EU. And that's why I've always said that we would play our part in trying to keep the whole UK in the EU, or at the very least in the single market and customs union. Of course, Scotland didn't vote to leave uh, the first time round. And what is ultimately most important to me is protecting Scotland's interests and making sure that Scotland's voice is respected. Yeah.